All right, what's going on, everybody? Zach's back at you, and welcome to another edition of a uh, sports vlog here. Um, this is one I've been getting a lot about. Um, I've been hearing a lot about the rumors about, you know, particular NBA stars and where each star will land. Um, a free agency is nowhere near, okay? The NBA free agency starts after the NBA finals. It's March, but after... Oklahoma City's dominant and rather convincing 130-109 to win over the Boston Celtics. Boston fans were chanting, come to Boston, when Kevin Durant was at a free throw line in the middle of the third quarter when it was 78-57, to 58 or something like that. The purpose of this vlog is, where will Kevin Durant go after this season? Will he go to Golden State and join Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and crew? Will he go to Boston, or will he stay put in Oklahoma City? Leave comments in the comments below on where you think he will go. Um, me, personally, I think he should go to the Boston Celtics if he wants a chance to win. Because when you look at Boston, you realize Boston has so much great young talent that they they need just one, not two, or three, or four, just one. They need one good superstar, and they, they could make it a run for the NBA Finals. I mean, who knows? Maybe they catch the Cavs next year. But in the meantime, a lot of people are believing, you know, oh, well, that's if they get by the Cavs. Well, that's true. Let's be honest here. The Cavs are probably the kings of the Eastern Conference, what seems like every year, as long as LeBron James and the whole team in its entirety is healthy. Um, a lot of people are like, well, if he goes to Golden State, no one's going to watch the NBA anymore because they'll have a, the, the, their team will just be unstoppable. Well, I wouldn't say so. I mean, you would think that, but... Ultimately, that could end up being a disaster. Um, because here's how I look at it. If he goes to Golden State, it's a catch-22, as they say. Yeah, it's nice to have a great player like him, but he'll end up probably becoming more of a problem than anybody else. Because when you realize he's not the center of attention in, Oklahoma, or in Golden State, Steph Curry is. But if... Like, for instance, as if Steph Curry left Golden State and went to Oklahoma City and tried to be the leader, that's not going to work. Because who's the real leader? Kevin Durant, if not Russell Westbrook. But the reason I believe Durant should go to Boston is because they have a great young players, core group of players. Their best player being shorter than the average even I think he was even shorter than Nate Robinson. Isaiah Thomas is a really good player. I I would take him over John Wall, Kyrie Irving, and probably <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I would take him over Steph Curry, but I definitely would take him over um, Kyrie Irving and John Wall. And definitely Rajon Rondo. Um, but then you look at their other players. They have Avery Bradley, a very good defensive player. Marcus Smart, another really good defensive player. Jared Sullinger, a big bulky guy to have down low in the paint to grab rebounds and to get good offensive putbacks. Then you have... That Jay Crowder kid. Jay Crowder's another really good defensive player. If Kevin Durant wants to win, I think that would be his best place. I know it sounds crazy to think, the, why not the Warriors? But I think it's Boston. If you think otherwise, hit a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, nobody's opinion's wrong. Nobody's opinion is invalid. Um, I mean... That's how I view it on my channel, and I don't want to see comments in the comment section about how uh, 
you know, oh, your opinion doesn't mean shit, and, you know, oh, you know, you're just talking a bunch of baloney out, or talking a bunch of smoke up our rear ends, you know, but just want to create a peaceful sports debate kind of channel, in a sense, but until the meantime, Big Z's out.